Hi everybody, it's Janelle and this is going to be a video response to Erin, um, Erin of Scandalous Beauty. She's issued a challenge for your best wedding look. Um, you can see the one I have already done and I've used several eyeshadows here. Most of them are by NYX, although I do have another shadow on by Sassy. And I'm going to show you how I achieved this look. Um, what I'm going to do to start, of course, my face has already been prepped with, um, you know, concealer and foundation and powder. First color I'm going to be putting on, and it will be all over the lid, is by NYX. And this is called Quark. This is just kind of a medium brown with a very light shimmer. I'm going to apply this from the lash line to the brow line as my base. Now I also happen to have on some concealer here and also a foundation prep by um, Rimmel of London. But you can see I'm just kind of brushing this all over the lid, lower lid, under the brow bone, over the brow bone and into the crease just to kind of give a base for everything else to go on. Once I've applied that, this is a very simple look. I took NYX in Almond, which is uh, kind of a rusty, yeah, kind of a rusty red, really pretty. Again, low shimmer, and this is going on my lower lid up to the crease line. And now this, instead of brushing on, I'm just kind of patting it on. Pack the color on using a flat brush. Just like so. This is a simple look. It's also a pretty quick look. Um, you know, when I was a young blushing bride, um, I did my own makeup for my wedding, and it was a happy time, but of course also there were some nerves involved, so I did a simple look, fairly similar to this, just different colors. I mean, it was a good thing that it was a simple look because uh, I noticed my hands were shaking pretty badly as I put my makeup on. It did get better, however. Okay, once that is applied, and get it as even as possible here, a little more in the inner corner. Once that is applied, we're going to take my crease brush and we're going to use a color by Sassy called Brown, Dark Brown. And we're going to put this in the crease just slightly. Sorry, picked the wrong brush up. Just kind of dabbing the end here into the color blow off the excess and start outside and just go right around your crease area here where the natural indent around the orb of your eyeball is. Start light, you can always put more color on. Back and forth in the crease all the way over to the inner corner. Now see how that color is getting deposited there? And if you feel you need it a little darker, just dab in your eyeshadow a little more and brush it on. Work it back and forth. Get the color concentration nice and smooth. Now I'm also taking what's here in the inner corner and blending it up a little bit towards the brow. It's going over the brow bone, brow bone just, just a tiny bit. And blend that up. Once that's done, I'm going to take NYX in Odyssey, which is a sparkle black. And now I'm going to put down my crease brush for a minute. I'm going to this very small pencil brush. Dab that in my color here. This is going to create my outer V. But I'm using this small 
brush here because I want to really concentrate just in that V area and then once I've applied the color I'm going to kind of work it down just a little bit onto that outer very outer corner of the eye just kind of stipple that in there I will take my larger brush and blend that in a little later okay. get that worked in now I'm going to take the blending brush after I've placed that color see where it's placed and it's hard, kind of harsh now take my blending brush and start kind of blending that out doing slight circular motions here to blend this in pull the color up and then pull it over onto the very corner of your lid there Okay, let's check that, see how it looks. Sorry, I have to adjust my mirror here to get some light. Need a little touch more. I just went back into my pot with my blending brush there. Add it just a little bit more. And again, blending it in that corner. I want the corner deepened, but I don't want it to be a really stark contrast. Okay, now, uh, as we all know, it's kind of hard to get your eyes even if you're not doing both of them at the same time, but we're going to do the best that we can here to get them even in terms of color saturation. Okay, I think that looks good. I'm going to go back to my flat brush here for a minute and touch up the almond didn't overrun it too badly but I just want to touch that up that's the, what's going to give me the spark of color in an otherwise fairly neutral eye and then back to my blender brush we're going to soften that just a little bit between the lid and the crease Okay. Now we've actually already got our highlight on because remember we put the cork all the way from the, the top lash line to the brow line. But if you feel you need to, you can touch up under your brow just a little bit with a little more cork. Soften that line between the highlight area and the contour area. Now we're ready to move on to the brows. Let's brush them just a tiny bit here, kind of get those hairs tamed in one direction. And I'm using Max Eyebrow Pencil in Spite, favorite pencil. We're going to follow the natural arch. Go back, short, quick strokes, light strokes. You don't want your brows looking like they've been painted on short quick light strokes fill in and then brush once again to evenly distribute your color Now I'm going to pause this video, throw a little light up here, for just a minute and add L'Oreal Hips Cream Eyeliner to the top lash line. This is High Intensity Pigments Cream Eyeliner in 905 Black. I'm going to add that and then while I'm off camera I'm also going to add my mascara. This is Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline. Look, I've been on been on a mission for fat lashes. I think I've got them, ladies. Give me just a moment. I will add that, and I will be right back to show you the finished look.